So now we're going to use an OPA. And OPA is an oral pharyngeal airway. Uh, the clinical indicators for an OPA are an unresponsive patient, and um, if the patient gags when you insert the airway, they won't be able to tolerate that airway, and you'll need to remove it. So there's two measurements for an OPA. The first measurement, that is probably the more common, would be measuring the flange, which is this part, from the front teeth, and then the distal part to the angle of the jaw. So it would be from the front teeth to the angle of the jaw. The second measurement would be from the corner of the mouth to the tragus of the ear, okay? So front teeth to the angle of the jaw, corner of the mouth to the tragus of the ear. Those would be the two measurements for the OPA. Now, as far as inserting it, we're going to use our cross fingers technique to open the mouth, index, thumb over index. We've already measured this from the front teeth to the angle of the jaw or the corner of the mouth to the tragus of the ear. We're going to insert this upside down, so we're gonna invert this. We're gonna follow the curve of the hard palate. Once we reach the soft palate, which is sort of spongy tissue, we're gonna rotate that 180 degrees, and the flange should rest on the lips or on the teeth like you see here.